Hey there, beautiful souls. Ever wondered if there's a spiritual roadmap to the universe? Well, there might just be. Today, we're diving deep into the 12 spiritual laws of the universe. These aren't just ancient principles. They're brought to life by some of the most transformative spiritual minds of our time. Ready to embark on this enlightening journey? Stick around, you won't want to miss it. Before we get started, let's clarify something. You've probably heard of the laws of the universe like gravity or thermodynamics. These are physical and scientific, but today we're exploring the spiritual laws of the universe. While not scientific in nature, they offer insights into our inner journey, our connection to the cosmos, and the very essence of our being. Think of them as the unwritten rules guiding our soul's path, kicking things off with the law of divine oneness. Everything, and I mean everything, is interconnected. Deepak Chopra often speaks of this universal connectivity and oneness, emphasizing that our individual souls are part of a grand cosmic dance, embrace unity. Understand that every action we take affects others and the world. When you feel isolated, remember Deepak's words. We're all connected in this cosmic dance. Think of the butterfly effect. A butterfly flaps its wings in Brazil and a tornado occurs in Texas. Our actions ripple out further than we realize. Next up, the law of vibration. Everything has a frequency, from the chair you're sitting on to the thoughts you're thinking. Dr. Wayne Dyer believed that by aligning with positive frequencies, we can elevate our existence, tune into positivity, listen to uplifting music, read inspiring books, or even meditate. As Dr. Dyer said, match the frequency of the reality you want. Ever walked into a room and felt the mood? That's vibration. Surround yourself with positive people and notice the lift in your spirits. Moving on to the law of correspondence. Ever heard the phrase, as above, so below? Doreen Virtue offers insights on this, suggesting there's a link between our physical world and spiritual realms. It's like a mirror reflecting above and below. Reflect internally. Recognize the connection between your internal and external worlds. Change within and watch your world transform. Remember Thomas Edison? He visualized the light bulb long before it was a reality. His belief and perseverance made it so. Think about how when you're in a bad mood, it feels like the entire world is working against you. But when you're positive, suddenly there are unexpected opportunities. Your inner world mirrors the external. Practice mindfulness. Be aware of your thoughts and feelings and notice how the world around you corresponds to your inner state. Before moving on, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our videos. Now, the popular law of attraction. This one's a biggie. Esther and Jerry Hicks, through the teachings of Abraham, delve deep into this law. Their message, your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs have the power to shape your reality. Rhonda Burns' secret took this to the masses, emphasizing our power to manifest. And remember Napoleon Hill's think and grow rich. He believed our minds have the magnetism to attract our deepest desires. Visualize and believe, like the teachings of Hicks and Byrne. Keep your focus on your desires, not fears. Remember Thomas Edison? He visualized the light bulb long before it was a reality. His belief and perseverance made it so. Then comes the law of inspired action. Dreaming is great, but action is the bridge to realization. Mike Dolly often says that proactive manifestation is key. You've got to move those feet. Dream, then do. Just like Mike Dooley emphasizes, take actionable steps towards your goals. J.K. Rowling didn't just dream about writing. She put pen to paper, faced rejections, and now. The world of Harry Potter is immortalized. Let's talk about the law of perpetual transmutation of energy. Sounds complex, right? But it's all about transforming energy. Louise Hay teaches that positive affirmations can literally shift your reality, turning negative vibes into powerful, positive momentum. Speak positivity into your life. Louise Hay's affirmations can be a daily tool for transformation. Think of someone who's transformed tragedy into a charity or positive movement. Their pain became a powerful, transformative force. Ever thrown a stone in a pond? The ripples? That's a bit like the law of cause and effect. Deepak Chopra often speaks of karma, where our actions, good or bad, will return to us in kind. Every deed plants a seed. Be mindful of your actions. 
as Deepak Chopra reminds us, every deed has a consequence. Consider Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Similarly, every decision you make, whether good or bad, will return to you. Be intentional with your actions. Make choices that align with your desired outcomes. Which brings us to the law of compensation. Napoleon Hill shared that the universe rewards effort, offering blessings and abundance in return. Put simply, what you give, you often get back, and sometimes even more. Give generously, whether it's love, time, or resources, believing that the universe compensates in abundance. Have you ever noticed how acts of kindness, even small ones, come back to you? That's the universe balancing things out. Practice gratitude, recognize and appreciate the abundance in your life, and it will increase. Let's discuss the law of relativity. Ever felt down until hearing someone else's challenges? Dr. Wayne Dyer believed everything is relative, urging us to see our struggles in perspective. One man's mountain might be another's molehill. When faced with challenges, maintain perspective. Remember Dr. Dyer's teachings and see the bigger picture. Every challenging experience is relative. A bad day at work might feel huge, but in the grand scheme of life, it's just a moment. Here's a cool one. The law of polarity. Everything has an opposite. Think of hot and cold or light and dark. Mike Dooley says this duality is essential for understanding and growth. Embrace life's ups and downs. With Dooley's insights, understand that challenges often pave the way for triumphs. Think about the natural ebb and flow of tides. Just as there are highs, there are lows. Both are essential parts of the whole. Life has its seasons which brings us to the law of rhythm. Louise Hay speaks of life's natural cycles, urging us to flow with them, not against. To flow with life's natural rhythms, riding the highs and lows with grace. Farmers understand this law. They sow in one season, nurture in another, and harvest later, all in rhythm with nature. Finally, the law of gender. This isn't about physical gender, but the masculine and feminine energies in the universe. Durian Virtue touches on this, suggesting a balance is key for harmony. Balance your energies. Whether you're feeling the assertiveness of masculine energy or the nurture of feminine energy, embrace both within. This isn't just about male and female. It's about the active and receptive energies we all possess. A balance of both is vital for creation. Let's make these laws actionable for you. Here are some techniques. One, meditation. Now, many people think meditation requires you to become a yogi or retreat to the mountains, but it's far simpler than that. When we talk about aligning with the law of oneness or vibration, what we're really discussing is the interconnectedness of everything. By dedicating even a short time each day to meditation, you're giving yourself a window to tap into this vast interconnected web. Imagine a serene space where you're breathing deeply, letting go of the day's stresses, and feeling a profound connection not just to your surroundings, but to the entire universe. Over time, this sense of unity can bring about peace, balance, and a deeper understanding of how we fit into the larger picture. Two, visualization boards. Picture this, a cork board filled with images of that beach house you've always wanted, snapshots of destinations you're itching to explore, or reminders of the personal growth milestones you're chasing. That's your visualization board, and it's a physical manifestation of your dreams and ambitions. The Law of Attraction is all about believing in the potential for your aspirations to become reality. And what better way to reinforce this than by seeing these dreams every day? It's a constant reminder that what you focus on, you attract. 3. Daily Affirmations Taking inspiration from the legendary Louise Hay, Daily affirmations are all about self-love and positive reinforcement. Think of them as little pep talks you give yourself. Maybe it's I am deserving of love and happiness, or every challenge I face is an opportunity for growth. The key is to make them personal and meaningful. By vocalizing these affirmations each morning, you're programming your mindset for the day ahead, laying the foundation for positivity and growth. 4. Reflective journaling you create an outlet to explore and understand your internal world. How did a particular event make you feel? Why did it make you feel that way? Noticing these patterns can provide invaluable insights into how your internal state mirrors external circumstances. 
It's like having a conversation with yourself, offering a clearer understanding of your emotions and reactions. Five, random acts of kindness. Small random acts of kindness, whether it's helping a neighbor with groceries or complimenting a colleague, you're setting into motion a chain of positivity. It's not about expecting something in return, but understanding that good deeds have a ripple effect. You'll often find that the universe has a way of reciprocating, showering you with unexpected blessings when you least expect them. And there you have it. Integrating these techniques into your daily routine can act as stepping stones to a more mindful, positive, and interconnected existence. All it takes is a little dedication and belief in the power of these fascinating universal laws. These laws aren't just theories. They're pathways guiding our souls towards enlightenment, peace, and purpose. By understanding them, we can lead a more balanced and harmonious life. Whether you're feeling the assertiveness of masculine energy or the nurture of feminine energy, embrace both within. If you found this enlightening, give us a thumbs up, share, and don't forget to subscribe for more cosmic insights. Journey well and keep those vibes high.